Welcome back to the David Pakman Show. I am Farron Cousins from Ring of Fire, sitting in for David Pakman today. You can follow me on Twitter, by the way, at Farron Balanced. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram at Farron Balanced. I'm on YouTube, youtube.com slash the ring of fire and youtube.com slash Farron Balanced. Now, we've got a bit of an issue here, right? If you've been paying attention to the news this week, you have no doubt seen a little bit of speculation about Marjorie Taylor Greene possibly running for president. And the reason these stories have been popping up throughout the week is because it was recently announced that Marjorie Taylor Greene on August 19th, I believe it is, is about to make a trip to the Iowa State Fair. And for those of you who may not know the significance of the Iowa State Fair, you know how every primary season we get the photographs of uh, candidates and they're chowing down on the big old corn dogs and meeting with people. Yeah, that's usually from the Iowa State Fair. This is essentially the launching ground of many presidential campaigns. They go to Iowa at this state fair, which is massive, to test the waters, to gauge the response of the individuals in attendance. And Marjorie Taylor Greene is going to go there. So it has prompted this speculation as to, oh my God, is she actually thinking of running for president? This person who's been in office for eight months now, already been stripped of her committee assignments, and now she might be running for president? And to that I say, hold your horses, folks. Now, she may be running for president, I'll get to that in a minute, but let's not jump to those extreme conclusions just yet, okay? We know that for the last several months, Marjorie Taylor Greene has been touring the United States with Matt Gates. They've been going out, spewing election lies, attacking Democrats, attacking Republicans, attacking the deep state, attacking quite possibly anybody that they think is going to benefit them politically by attacking. We also know that in the recent weeks, they've kind of struggled to find venues, right? Got kicked out of three different places over in California recently, had to hold their little rally on a sidewalk with just a handful of people in attendance. So to me, the most likely explanation as to why Marjorie Taylor Greene would be heading to the Iowa State Fair is because it is essentially a captive audience and she is incredibly uh, 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 less likely to be kicked out of it. So why not, right? Why not go there to this thing that everybody focuses on, especially in the world of politics? Why not go there and do your spiel in front of these individuals? Why not go out there and talk to them? It doesn't have to be a presidential run. It could just be something as simple as, oh boy, I have more people I can do my little spiel to. I, I, I feel like that's probably the most likely explanation. It is the simplest explanation. She struggled to find an audience. So this would be it. But let's look at the extreme side, okay? Let's assume for a second Marjorie Taylor Greene is actually, um, as they call it, testing the waters for a presidential run. Bring it on. Like, I am here all day for that. Marjorie Taylor Greene won her election in Georgia last year, running unopposed, getting 74% of the vote. Okay. She couldn't even crack a solid three quarters of the vote when nobody was running against her from this tiny little Georgia district, a deep red solid Republican district. And she couldn't even get 75%. Yikes. Not to mention the fact that she has made a spectacle of herself all across the country at this point. She's done it throughout all of her media appearances all of her horrific tweets, her anti-Semitic tweets. So if she wants to run for president, go for it. I seriously doubt you have any chance whatsoever of being successful with it. I do not believe for a second that she could end up being, you know, the kind of dark horse person like Donald Trump became, you know, uh, going out and basically telling the people what they wanted to, to hear to the point where they somehow decided to vote for him. I don't think she has that potential because she absolutely does not have that kind of charisma, that 
odd charm that kind of sucks people in. She's just a train wreck. And I don't think she, she would have any chance whatsoever. All she would do in a presidential primary is just drag down the overall image of the Republican Party. So like I said, I'm here all day for it. I hope she is going to Iowa to test the waters for a presidential run. But I also truly don't believe that that's what she's actually doing. I'm really excited that uh, one of our sponsors today is Helix Sleep. I sleep on a Helix mattress at home. I absolutely love it. And that's why I reached out to them about sponsoring the David Pakman show. Buying a mattress in the past was always a huge guessing game for me. I didn't know what I actually needed. I didn't know what I would like. But Helix has a sleep quiz on their website. You tell them your body type, your sleeping position, your back pain issues you might have. And their tool matched me with a mattress that is perfect for me. It's cool enough at night. It's the right firmness. I generally just do way better sleeping these days because of the mattress. Helix was awarded number one best overall mattress for the last two years by both GQ and Wired magazine. It is well deserved. I can tell you firsthand every Helix mattress comes with a 10 year warranty. You can try the mattress risk free for 100 nights and they will even come pick it up at your house if you don't love it. But I know you will. All of my viewers will get up to two hundred dollars off your order and you'll get two super premium pillows for free when you go to the link right underneath this video.